Number one is thank you. Thanks for wearing the cloth of our nation. Thanks for being Marines and sailors. Thanks for volunteering to serve, uh, to make our country better, to make the world better. In this particular point in time, thanks for going forward. Thanks for taking your time, your talents, your energy, your skills, and bringing them over here to Afghanistan to make this a safer place, to get rid of some of the safe havens for those who would do harm on our way of life or around the world. Number two is to keep your head in the game, to take care of each other, to be aware that this is a very dangerous environment still, that complacency can kill people, and be it a combat environment, an advise and assist environment, or a support environment, you have to pay attention to what you're doing. So be safe so you not only accomplish a mission, but you come home uh, to be proud of that. And then number three is to realize that, again, tactical actions have strategic impacts. And the smaller we get and the more forward and the more uh, visible and aggressive the Afghan National Security Forces get, the more we have to realize that everything we do has an impact far beyond the local environment or the local operating area. So tactical actions have strategic impact. I think all the Marines understood that. I think everybody back home should be proud, too. They should be proud of their role two or three years ago to set the conditions in the environment that's enjoying, helping us enjoy success now, and for those who will come afterwards to realize they need to keep their head in the game, and because we have so much support and have enjoyed so much success over here, it's incumbent on all of them to take it to the next level and see the overall mission through to completion successfully. So Semper Fidelis to everyone, and happy Thanksgiving. Hurrah, happy Thanksgiving. Hurrah. Thanks for being Marines. Thanks for getting sailors, soldiers. We get a whole mix here. Thanks for coming forward. Keep your head on the game the whole time, okay? Day one to day last. Think strategically. Act tactically, but think strategically, okay? And once you come back home, brag about what you did, have a beer to talk about it, okay? Yeah. Happy Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving. Hey, right, we'll wipe you off the line. I, I kind of like him. We stole Michael Vick from him. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> Where are you from? Michigan. Michigan. I'm here for only one reason, just to tell you we love you, tell you thanks for being Marines, and thanks for coming forward here and doing a great job, okay? Uh, I was telling you two bosses, the last three times I've been to get the uh, uh, Pedro out of here, uh, we got to do the medevacs, we got to do the resupply missions, and if you don't do them, then we lose comp impacts. So you just got to make sure whether it's lift or don't lift, you know, help or don't help, shoot or don't shoot, everything you do has not only a tactical impact, but it's got an operational and strategic impact, and you got to think through the bigger picture. And, uh, you know, some of your staff NCOs and feel great officers will let you head on a swivel. First day, last day, okay? Yes, sir. All sir. good. Thanks. All good. The first message is thanks. All right? The second message is you had the game. From day one to day last, you know, you got to build the FK national security uh, capability and capacity out here. got to take care of each other. You know, you can have a busy day on the first message for you. And then I'll let the other two general officers talk to you and start major for a minute. So first message is just to tell you thanks. Thanks for who you are and what you do. Thanks for wearing the cloth of our nation. Thanks for being great Marines. Thanks for going forward and being downrange. You really are keeping the world safe for democracy. You're helping everybody at home. You're all having a great Thanksgiving because you're out here. So thanks for being Marines and thanks for being forward. I don't know how fast you'll see him in your career, okay? All good. Great question. Thanks. Long answer. What else? Here you go, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, Sergeant Pratt. I do all this data for 22 months, see what it tells us, and then we'll tell SECDEF and we'll tell Congress. First Sergeant and Sergeant Major and all the staff NCOs are talking to you about this, okay? You got to think every day. Build you the most ready Marine Corps you can have. train you well for this? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You can't think about it, then. It? It's not exactly what you train for, is it? It's different. It's a tough job. It's Groundhog Day. Don't let it become Groundhog Day. Thanks for what you're doing. Talked to Sergeant Major Barrett last week, back in the rear before I left. Same thing. They're both looking forward to coming out here and spending Christmas with you, okay? Airman here, just thanks for wearing the cloth of our nation. You're making a huge difference. 
You're making a huge difference in Afghanistan. You're making a huge difference back home. So don't ever take for granted or underestimate the impact that you're having, okay? Expeditionary. I know you guys are This is it. You know, but we're going back to uh, being expeditionary on ships for station for deployed. Okay, special purpose bag task. here you know and all the way up into uh your kinetic operations you're doing something real short of kinetic now sometimes we're going back to our we've been in war for uh, probably uh, 10 12 years now thankful to uh, be out here serving the country, protecting them back home, and uh, it means the world to me to be out here and to, uh, you know, kind of put our name out there in a good fashion and getting the job done. I definitely talked to some of the other Marines, um, especially like my hires, um, and just, you know, mess around, uh, joke around with them and just kind of uh, treat them like they were my, uh, my real brothers. Definitely appreciate the things uh, that I have back home. Uh, I mean, just the family that I have and the support that I'm actually getting is just phenomenal. So um, definitely learning to appreciate the little things in life. I, something as small as you know, being able to hug my girlfriend in the morning or even go to coffee with her, you know, seeing my family, uh, you know, whenever I wanted to, um, even sleeping on a nice pillow. <laughs> um, it's just, you know, it's those little things, even like being able to wake up and not have to put boots on to go to the bathroom. Like, I don't know. I don't know how, like, it's just all the little things. Yeah, it's so, <laughs> the way I always view it is like when you're at work, you know, you're allotted like 12 hours a day to be at work and you're doing your thing. Make sure you focus on that. And then in your downtime, that's when you can spend it thinking about family and stuff like that. I try and focus on the mission as much as I can while I'm at work. Um, you know, if I need a couple minutes here or there, you know, I'll run it up to hire and, you know, get that time to myself. But, you, I mean, rely on each other and be like, hey, you know, this is what's going on. Like, I'm, you know, homesick or whatever. But, uh, you know, keep each other in the game and 
like quiz each other if anything on your jobs just to keep your mind kind of in the right uh, set just so you can get the job done for that day and then just one day at a time. Well, I got to know my job a lot more intimately. Um, I actually learned a lot more of other jobs, got some cross training in, um, definitely learned a lot about leadership and I can definitely apply that in the rear when you get home. Um, and there's just so much uh, that I can gather from this deployment that will help e even if I can't name it right now I know it'll help me in the future it won't even it won't even hit me until it happens right. but it's a good experience it's, I'm honored to be out here I, I I don't know I love my job I love what I do and I I'd do it again in a heartbeat perfect thank you so much no problem I'm thankful for them for being patient and uh, for all the love and care that they're sending me while I'm out here and uh, basically they're, they're good hopes and spirits they're giving me. I guess uh, I gained most about, um, more about brotherhood, I suppose. Uh, since we're away from all the things back home, we really have to rely on each other to make it through the day. And that's what I've learned. Well, you wake up with these guys, you live with these guys for six months on end, you see them every day, sometimes you you get sick of them, but you, you keep going through anyway, and uh, you build a very uh, strong relationship with these guys. It's good to be with people that still care, with your, with your own Marines. Marines. It means uh, it means we're doing a good job. That's the that's the best thing to hear right there. That we're uh, we're uh, we're accomplishing the mission ever. You know that uh, that we're on the right track.